Hi, I'm Rob Harnish and I'm the chef de mission for the uh, Guernsey team going away to the Commonwealth Championships for fencing. This training camp that you can just see in the background is part of our regular training cycle. Uh, we train fencers uh, for participation in sports starting at about age 9, uh, right through to veteran comp competitors. Our oldest competitors are pushing 70, although they don't like me to say that. These training camps, we bring in specialist coaches from around the world. Uh, at, at the moment, we have three professional Hungarian coaches here. Froelich Peter, who was the British Olympic coach for Sabre. Uh, Bogar, um, Bognar Gabor, who is the professor of fencing coaching at the Hungarian Sports University. And uh, Kunchuba, who's the former European champion in foil and now coach both in Austria and in Hungary for the national squads. Basically, they're out there at the international competitions seeing what's happening competitively at top level. The sport changes year on year, so recently the Koreans have become very important. Uh, they're using small, fast counter-attacking actions. Unless you're prepared for those, uh, and you're not prepared for comp competition. And from Guernsey, we don't really see a lot of international players to, to really prepare properly. This is the first time we've really been able to field a strong competitive team. Uh, Rebecca Mayo, who's here just flown in from uni uh, just to warm up to train tomorrow with the rest of her team, I think just won the Sussex, uh, has been in the top eight in a couple of other senior events in, in Britain, is looking well placed, perhaps a medal at these games. Uh, Nod Marton, who's actually working here with us full time this year, uh, won the Birmingham Open, a big event in Britain, one of the largest FA competitions, another potential medal hope for Guernsey. Although I feel nervous saying this because we've always hoped to get into the 32, so to, to move from thinking about making it into the last 32 to making it into the medals is a, a big thing. But if you, don't, if you don't think big, you don't achieve big, I guess. I think for us the most important thing is, is um, we've just begun to put ourselves on the map with our last two junior performances. We brought a bronze medal back from Jersey and a bronze medal back from Malaysia. Um, and it was a kind of entry with people just saying, where's this tiny island? I'd, I'd really like to have some impact on the, on the major championships, just so that Guernsey's not there and also competing at the bottom of the table, that people are thinking, oh, there's a new fencing nation out there. And maybe they're not in the top eight yet, but let's look out at what they're doing. You know, already we're looking ahead to the next games and thinking this is our building platform. It's the first time we've taken a full team for, for full team for three weapons and full team minus one for one of the weapons. Well, I'm Rebecca Mayo and I'll be fencing FA in the Commonwealth. Um, I started off through modern pentathlon, uh, so I kind of had to do it to do the whole five sports. And then I just found I had a bit of a talent for it and I enjoyed it, so I continued it on a while later. But I don't know, it's a, it's a different sport, and it's, it's a great one to try, and not many people have heard of it or done it, so it's good to be different. <laughs> this time round, I'm just going for experience mainly. I feel that I'm quite young and I haven't quite reached my peak, but I, you know, I'd like to do well and try my best and see how I do. So. I have support through the uni uh, that I'm at, I'm at Surrey Uni, um, and yeah, my mum, <laughs> my dad, <laughs> but I, I don't know, it's a different kind of support because here you've got the support of the people and everything else, whereas Surrey Uni is more of a financial side of it. It's good because you, you well, you get to come back and fence with the country you're going to be representing. Um, the training courses, they have good structure and they cover everything really. Um, there's a few in the UK, but I think this is, it's just got the better, it suits me better. They're really good. Um, Gabor is my like, main He's been around since I've been about 12, so it's a long time, seven years. Um, and he just knows me now, and yeah, he just, it's good. And they're, they're of a different calibre as well. Like, some of the coaches in Britain haven't had the experience that they've had. Hey, my name is uh, Alex Doherty, and I'll be competing in foil at the Commonwealths. Um, a lot of experience because we have some international coaches over from Hungary so you learn a lot more new things 
and a lot of the coaches actually coach coaches, so they teach co how to become a coach, so I learned a lot from them, um, especially with the all experience and Olympians they've produced, it allows me to develop my skills. Um, I'm hoping to compete um, to well, best I ever have done, because it's Commonwealth. Um, I'm not, I don't see myself getting really as far as like maybe gold place, but I'd be hoping for at least top 16 would be a nice position to get to, if possible. I'd be a nice goal, maybe top 16 at, with all the senior world people, which are there. Um, my support system mainly comes from coaches, because it's very one-to-one -one, um, coaching because as it is a one-to-one -one sport really it's not a team match or anything um, but you do work with everybody else so there's a good support system from all the other um, fencers because that's how you develop skills but a lot of it does have to come from home with regards to paying for kit and all that as it is a very expensive sport. Um, it's really, it's quite weird actually, because um, I learn everything as I have done with my coach. So it's the same old, same old. Then I get given to a national coach and it's completely different. So I learn a hundred new things in one lesson. So you go from knowing the same things to completely different things. But the change which I noticed was very instant in my matches. So he taught me two, maybe three things. Instantly, I was getting twice the number of hits straight away. I'm promoted just by showing them because um, there's all sorts of different things you can do in fencing. There's three different weapons and it's very fast paced and quite exciting, quite adrenaline filled. Um, so by demonstrating to them through showcases and showing what happens, that's one way. But also get them involved, give them quick lessons, one to one lessons, actually almost fight them myself just to show how fun it can be and all the cool stuff you can do.